Hello, my name is Jan Schultz. I'm a senior application expert from uh, Global Product Management. I have been uh, playing uh, a little bit with uh, our small crane here, our fitness machine, because I want to show um, our, our another way to make a torque limitation. It is not something new, it's just another way to make it, as uh, we usually do. Usually, we just uh, key in the LCP uh, how much torque we want the uh, to be produced on the shaft end and this is uh, how much the motor can give and uh, uh, it will not stop, it will just uh, stop to produce more torque. What we have done now is that uh, we have keyed in 60% of the nominal torque of the motor into the drive and that means that uh, the motor will now only produce 60% of nominal torque on the shaft end. This is not sufficient for lift uh, the weight I have put on the crane now, so uh, what will happen is that uh, when I start to, to run it, it will try to lift but it's not strong enough anymore. It will uh, hit the torque limit first. So when we are on the torque limit, you can see it here on the display that you have a warning. You can hear that the motor is still running but it's not strong enough. I will now use uh, MST10 and I will go and change parameter 416 the torque limit to 160% instead of 60. Now I have changed the torque limitation in uh, parameter 416 and um, now we should be able to run up to 160% torque before the torque limitation goes in. Um, but I have made my own torque limitation in a smart logic controller. I make a compare function where I look at our torque readout and uh, compared with a fixed value. This is in, in this case it's a 5.5 uh, Newton meter and uh, when it hit this it would stop and pull the brake and stop the motor. And this is a, uh, the difference here, that it will stop and pull the brake. Here I will try to explain how we have made the program. As you can see terminal 27 is changed from digital input to digital output and you can also see further down this page that uh, the terminal 27 is programmed as Smart Logic Digital Output A. I will get back to why I have done this. Here you can see how I have programmed the digital inputs. As you can see, terminal 18 is used as start, this means start forward. Terminal 19 is used as start reverse. And then terminal 29 is used as quick stop reverse. And this is where the digital output comes in because I need to make a um, jumper from terminal 27 to terminal 29 to make a quick stop. Here you have the sequence in the smart logic controller. As you can see it is just a simple smart logic controller only with two steps and um, the first digital input 19 this is reverse and then after you have made reverse it will uh, jump down to step number number two and wait until the comparator zero is high. This means this is the place where um, the control will stay under normal conditions. As soon as um, comparator is high uh, it will jump and set uh, digital output A to low and that means give a quick stop. The only way to get out of this is to run reverse and then the digital output A is again set to high and that means that uh, the inverse quick stop is uh, uh, released so that the motor can run again. Here you see my comparator. Um, this is where I make the uh, comparison from motor torque to a fixed value. In this case it is uh, 5 Newton meter. This means if you have motor torque higher than 5 Newton meter, you will have a high on the comparator output. So now we are running on my own torque uh, limit function here, made in the Smart Logic controller. And uh, I have put the load here, and I know that uh, this is exactly the maximum load I can lift with this crane. If I put more load on, it will not lift it. So uh, I will now try and lift, and see that uh, this is on the limit and it runs nice and I can take it back again so the crane is now working and let's 
say that this is the maximum we are allowed to lift with this crane and now we try to lift more than allowed with the crane. So I put the bolt one step further down and I try again and now it stops and as you can hear the motor will not continue to run it really stops the motor and mechanical brake is now closed so it, it works really fine and how can we then release this or come out of this situation because we cannot go further up the load is simply too heavy so our torque com um, compare is, uh, is in now the only way to come out of this is to run down again put the load on the ground so to speak so again try it again here it cannot lift anymore and get out of it here and if I again want to lift the maximum load this is where we have the tape it works And where can this uh, function be used? For instance, in many countries, it is so that uh, you are allowed to use a crane, maybe up to five ton. And if you have to load uh, or lift weights uh, over five ton, you need a certificate. In this case, we can put uh, a limitation in into the drive so that it can lift up to five ton and over that it will stop. If you then need to uh, uh, lift more because the capacity of the crane is higher and you have a, uh, a guy with a certificate then you can just uh, by a key switch uh, change uh, the load limitation and it can uh, use the full capacity of the crane. It could also be a crane what has to lift things out of water it could be ROV, it could be a boat crane um, but similar for those two cranes is that um, the load on the crane will change when you get um, the thing you want to lift out of the water. Um, and uh, if you use the standard torque limitation, it will uh, hit the torque limitation when it goes out of water and then it will fall back again until it fits the uh, torque on the motor. With the one I've made here in the Smart Logic controller, it will stop. So it will not move back again, it will just stop and stay in the crane hanging in the mechanical brake. It could also be used uh, in turning tables, in uh, production breweries on, or something like that. Uh, if something stops in the turning table then uh, we are not interested in the motor going on and uh, try to squeeze everything uh, and maybe uh, harming the gear or the turning table or even the bottles or whatever has uh, caused uh, the jamming. We want the thing to stop and then uh, give an alarm or give a, a warning. 